Have you ever wondered what it would be like to turn red hot lava into electricity? Sounds amazing, right? But let's talk about why that's not such a great idea. Lava cools down way too fast and volcanoes aren't exactly reliable. They erupt whenever they feel like it. But don't worry, there is a safer and smarter way to use volcanic heat. This is all about tapping into the earth's natural heat stored deep underground. In most places, this heat just warms up rocks and underground water. But in volcanic regions, it's intense enough to melt rock, creating magma. Volcanoes act like giant heaters, bringing magma closer to the surface. Some of it erupts, but a lot stays underground, creating hot springs and geysers. This is a typical hot spring. They are nature's own steam baths and can last for thousands of years. So, how do we turn this heat into electricity? Engineers drill deep wells into these hot spots. The steam from these wells is brought to the surface and used to spin turbines in power plants and generate electricity. After it produces electricity, the steam cools and condenses back into hot water. This water may be used to convert a different liquid with a much lower boiling point such as butane to drive a second generator. Then it is pumped back underground to heat up again. It's like a never-ending cycle. Geothermal energy is a gift that keeps on giving. It's renewable and produces way less pollution than fossil fuels. Plus, geothermal plants run day and night, unlike solar or wind power. Check out Iceland. They are volcanic energy experts. About 25% of their electricity comes from geothermal sources. That's because Iceland sits on top of many active volcanoes, making it a perfect place for geothermal power plants. In the US, places like California and Nevada are leading the way with geothermal power. And while we can't tap into places like Yellowstone National Park, it's exciting to see how we can still harness this energy elsewhere. Let's take a quick look at why geothermal energy from volcanoes is so amazing. First, sustainability. Volcanic geothermal energy doesn't produce greenhouse gases. It's renewable and recycles water back into the earth. Next is reliability. Unlike solar or wind, volcanic energy provides a constant heat source, ensuring a steady power supply, independent of the weather. And finally, volcanic geothermal energy can pack a punch. Take the geysers in California, for example. It produces a whopping 725 megawatts of electricity, which is enough to power a city as big as San Francisco. As technology advances, these energy sources could support even larger grids and for longer periods. With all these benefits of geothermal energy from volcanoes, you might wonder why it's not more widespread. Well, there are a few challenges to consider. One major hurdle is the upfront cost. Digging deep into the earth and setting up the necessary systems is pricey. While the savings on electricity can eventually balance these costs, the initial investment can be a barrier. Environmental impact is another concern. Injecting water back into the ground can alter its original properties, potentially disrupting the local environment. While some places, like Iceland, manage this well, other volcanic zones might face challenges. So, while volcanic geothermal energy has great potential, its costs and environmental impacts are key considerations. As we move forward, balancing these factors will be crucial for expanding this clean energy source.